third day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast election campaign of the candidates to the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Sons of Western Armenia, Sohomunya Norai, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. The Baku government intentionally exposes 120,000 inhabitants of Artsakh to real terror. Arman Tatoyan, most of the land in Van Gatak cannot be cultivated because it is under enemy attack. Armenian lavash, matna, kash, and jingal bread are among the top 70 delicious in the Testalize ranking. Artsakh wrestlers, European Championship medalists. The Electoral Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the 90th Zoom meeting organized as part of the election campaign for the NA elections to be held in December. The meeting will take place on July 13, 2023 at 8 p.m. French time, 10 p.m. Yerevan time in Armenia. The theme of the meeting, National Education and Western Armenia. Norai Sohomonyan, heroic martyr of the 44-day war, was born in the village of Artabyung, Vayotso region in 2000. He studied painting in the region for six years, then in 2019 entered the painting department of Yerevan State Pedagogical University. His mother, Suzy Vartanian, says her son had been a master of light and shadow since he was a child. He saw and felt differently, and perhaps it was no coincidence that he was a marksman. He was killed on the very first day of the war at Jurakan, and posted awarded the combat service medal. He was employed for four months and never complained about the service. The last time he said, Mom, be well, maybe I'll call you tomorrow. After the four-day war, he was very enthusiastic about Robert Abadjian's image. Before enlisting, Robert's portrait was painted and presented to the school where he studied. Robert was Norai's hero, said his mother. Mrs. Susie is sure that Norai also fought until the last moment, selflessly fulfilling his duty in combat. Karno Kochari is one of the varieties of the Kochari dance which was popular in the Karin region. Kochari is the most popular and currently best preserved Armenian dance of the Armenian highlands. When asked about the origins of Kochari, many people respond with uncertainty, stating that they do not know. Some even answer the question with another question, emphasizing that the love for this dance is ingrained in their blood, and that's what truly matters. Gagi Ginosian, the founder and leader of the ethnographic dance ensemble Karin, disagrees with such an approach to Armenian heritage. He believes that Armenians should strive to know more about their own culture to prevent others from appropriating it. Ginosian emphasizes the importance of instilling patriotism in children from infancy. Kochari originated during pagan times when trees, water, the sun, and animals were worshipped. The dance, which initiated body movement, strength, and power of the wild realm, symbolizes the realm cult and its association with territorial protection and the defense of the flock. Even today, centuries later, elements of this cult are preserved in both architecture and everyday life. Indeed, the cult of the Ram is reflected in various forms of art. In particular, architectural elements resembling Ram horns can be observed. Historians know that during the period of the cult, many sculptures depicted not only the horns but also the head of the Ram. Armenians believe that by embodying the fearlessness of the Ram, they could not be enslaved by anyone. The dance also reflects elements of the Ram cult. Kochari originated during the time of the Ram cult and it involved a ritual known as getting up. This ritual entailed climbing on the hind hooves like a ram ascending and forcefully striking the ground with them. This element is preserved in several variations of Kochari where dancers stand in a row, lift their feet and vigorously strike the ground. We present the message of Arman Tatoyan, director of the Center for Law and Justice, Tatoyan Foundation, former human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia. The Baku government's aim is to forcibly expel the indigenous people of Artsakh, the Armenians, from their homeland and subject them to ethnic cleansing. Since December 12 of the previous year, the humanitarian catastrophe has taken the form of a total blockade. This is the 210th day that the Armenians of Artsakh have been cut off from the world. Baku has completely cut off Armenia's electricity supply since January 9, and it has not been restored to date. Since March 21, Baku has completely stopped the gas supply from Armenia to Artsakh, and before that is regularly stopped and restored it. Since June 15, all kinds of humanitarian supplies to Artsakh have been stopped. Since June 25, the International Committee of the Red Cross has only been supplying medicines, and these two under strict restrictions. On the afternoon of July 8, reports emerged that the gas supplies to Artsakh had been restored, but from the afternoon of July 9, gas supplies were again interrupted. 
interrupted. Moreover, all these policies are made with the intention of spreading uncertainty and anxiety among the people. Residents are unable to fill their cars with fuel, even for minimal vital needs, transporting people to hospital, food and other necessities. Bread factories can't even function. In this way, the Baku government is deliberately exposing the 120,000 inhabitants of Artsakh to real terror, creating a state of uncertainty, anxiety for life and health, and despair with complete resolution. This is a natural manifestation of the Baku government's criminal policy of hatred and hostility towards Armenians, measures that stem from their true intentions. Most of the land in the Van Gata community of Martakir district cannot be cultivated as it is under observation by Azerbaijani positions. The head of the community, Haran Bakhshian, said this is in conversation with Artsakh press correspondent, pointing out that the villagers do not consider this area safe. For security reasons, land users cannot cultivate these areas. We received potato seeds and a number of crops from the Village and Agriculture Foundation of the Republic of Artsakh and the Red Cross. We have one resident who has managed to sow so many potato that he sells part of the harvest in neighboring localities, but due to the lack of transport fuel, he is unable to deliver it to Stepanagert, said Bakhshian. According to the Artsakh press interlocutor, in the post-war period, a small number of Varngatakh inhabitants engaged in livestock farming, meeting the demand of their families and to a certain extent of the village as well. According to Haran Bakhshian, the results of high making that has begun inspire hope that there will be no shortage of fodder in winter. Among the 100 best rated flatbreads in the world, 100 best rated flatbreads in the Tasty Tales Encyclopedia of Local Cuisine, Traditional Restaurants and Authentic Recipes from Around the World, three Armenian breads are included. Jengal bread, Matnakaj and Lavash. According to the Armen Press report, the encyclopedia specifically mentions that Jengal bread is a recipe from Artsakh. Jengal bread is a traditional Armenian flatbread whose composition includes various spices and up to 20 types of green vegetables. In 20 2014, Lavash traditional bread preparation, significance and cultural manifestations in Armenia was inscribed in UNESCO list of intangible heritage. Artsakh wrestlers Vladimir Galinsky and Suren Ishkhanian won bronze medals at the U15 European Championship held in Kaposvar, Hungary. Daniel Makarchan, head of the Sport Department of the Ministry of Education and Culture of the Republic of Artsakh, informed in an interview to Artsakh Tert. In the battle for the bronze medal, Vladimir Galinsky won 10-0 over Russia's Ivan Astreika, and Suren Ishkhanian beat Turkey's Bugra Kavak with a score of 8-8. Artsakh freestyle wrestler Garik Nersisyan also took part in the European U15 Championship as part of the RA national team. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Parkupati vert kezike 